Okay, everybody. So, um, as I said, I was going to be attacked today, and sure enough, I was. So, um, I'm getting ready to show Alexander Pagani that God should never be mocked. God should never be mocked. And he was right. Shots were fired. Too bad he wasn't wearing a vest because he's the one that got shot, not me. So he literally in here has lied to all of his viewing audience all over the world. You will understand that this man has abdicated his office of an apostle. He is now drinking and dining and dancing and screwing with the devil because he is a liar. And we all know who his father is because my father is the father of truth. We all know who this guy's father is. So I want you to hear what he says. Not only did he say he has never, that everything he said in today's video about CERN was taken from the Bible. He has never read the book of Enoch. Why did he say that? Because I have come out and said that he had read the book of Enoch. So now he is calling me a liar. He's calling me a liar. And he's also said that all of the information that he got about this subject, he has gotten from real prophets. So he's calling me a false prophet out here. Now the Lord is going to show him his reflection in the mirror. I hope you enjoy it. You've earned it. Wear it well. A thousand year portal. Watch this. With no demons and no fallen angels. You miss what I just said. Because before the thousand year reign of Christ, the Lord takes the fallen angels and the demons, he judges them and casts them into the lake of fire, but he takes the devil alone and puts him into the abyss where he has to serve a thousand year prison sentence in the abyss by himself, waiting for one day, for a thousand years is as one day. And a day with the Lord is as a thousand years. Did you catch it? Did you catch it? And the Bible says that when a thousand years are up, Satan himself, with no army, no demons, has to go and entice people again. And entice them. And who is he going to entice? Those that were born during the thousand years. Why? Because they have. it's easy to say you love Jesus with no demons. And no temptation. Oh, my God. It's easy to say you love How he God, could sit there and speak in tongues and sit there and lie to thousands no of people watching him. No demons attempt you. Easy. You must be tempted. God has to see Abram if you really love him. So the devil comes out and deceives the nations again. He deceives the nations and gets the nations on his side with no demons. The devil himself does all the work. So it's the devil and the people. Start fighting against the Lord. Boom. The armies of heaven come. End time. End of the world. We go to heaven. Yay. Walk in the streets of gold. I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to being there. If you know Christ, you will be there. If you don't know Christ, you're going to go to hell. You're not going there. Did you catch it? <laughs> My God. Lord Jesus. This is good stuff. This is... So when I hear... When I hear... When I hear... When I hear topics on channels about CERN... Great content. Child's Play though. Child's play. Yes, sir. Level one. Level one makes it makes great conversation, builds great algorithm. But but CERN already exists. So what about in closing? What about the scientists? What about them? What about the scientists? Praying to demons, trying to open a portal for demons. They don't need it. Satanists open portals for demons. Luciferians open portals to demons. 
Druids open portals to demons. The Brotherhood of the Snake, the Bilderberg Group, the Trilateral Commission, the Council of Twelve, the Knights Templar, the Knights of Columbus, the Freemasons, ancient Babylonian mystery religion, the woman that rides the beast, Nimrod. Maybe I should do a topic on Nimrod. And let me share something with you. Nothing that I shared with you has been the Book of Enoch. I haven't even got to the Book of Enoch yet. Let me share something with you. I have the Book of Enoch. Can you believe I haven't even read it yet? I've never read it. Listen carefully. I've never read the Book of Enoch. Listen and I have carefully. a copy of the book. I have the copy of the Book of Jasher. I have the copy of the Book of Enoch. I have the Book of the Giants. I have the Apocrypha. Well, the, I've read I've read the Apocrypha many years ago, but I, I, I've never read. I have the Book of Judas. I even have the Book of Mormon in my in, in my in my in my library there. I've never read the Book of Enoch. And even I know demons or disembodied spirits of the Nephilim. I got that by way of straight revelation and dialoguing with other real apostles and prophets. There we go. There we go. Listen, you need to you need to sow a seed. You need to sow now a seed. Now we got the prosperity right now, preaching this aspect is a blessing here. To you. you need to literally you need to sow a seed to this. You need to sow a seed. You need to sow a seed. I this man is 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 a total fraud. That's all I can say. Um, he might have started out as a real apostle. I don't know what happened to him, but he's he's a total fraud. Now, for anyone who wouldn't have known the, the history that's been going on with these pastors and me, you would have never caught what he just did. Now I'm going to show you the truth. He wants to talk about shots fired. He should have actually worn a vest. Do not ever mock God. Do not ever mock God and do not ever call me a liar. This is a video he did with his buddy Isaiah. There is much more. We would like Who to are the this, Nephilim? But it is difficult to explain, especially since you are spiritually dull and don't seem to listen. You have been believers so long now that you ought to be teaching others. Instead, you need someone to teach you again the basic things about God's word. Okay, now stop right there. The author's letting us know that there is an entry, elementary level to the word, and then there's a mature level to the word. Now, what he's writing here is a rebuke and an admonition. He's basically saying that I want to take you deeper, but because I realize that you're so Chuck E. Cheese and Willy Wonka and babysitting and evangelical that you're not ready for me to even tell you some of the some of the more mature things because you quickly default into I never heard that before where's that in the Bible that's heresy so the author is actually saying that the mature level of scripture is predicated upon those who are mature listeners and this is what we want to say is tonight we are not catering or pandering to baby Christians Come on. this is for the mature tonight this is for those of us who want to go deeper and if you want to go deeper say something in the chat room but let me read something let me continue reading what the author finishes saying he says you need someone to teach you again the basic things about god's word you are like babies who need milk and cannot eat solid food look at what verse 13 says for someone who lives on milk and baby i'm telling you tonight there will be no milk no milk today in this topic. Look at this. For those who live on milk is still an infant and doesn't know how to do what is right. Verse 14. Solid food is for those who are mature, who through training have the skill to recognize the difference between right and wrong. The King James Version says to discern. King James Version says to discern, to know what is the difference between right and wrong, which obviously Pagani is still a baby crawling around in his dirty diapers because he obviously does not know the difference between right and wrong, which is why he has 
calling me a false prophet when he was the one who said I was a prophet. Who would believe a word that comes out of this man's mouth? Who would ever want to go to his school of the prophet? He doesn't know what a prophet is. He's dancing with the devil. He's a liar. Now let's get to the good stuff. Discernment is not an impartation. It is developed through training, which means someone has to push the envelope. Tonight, me and Isaiah, we're going to push the envelope. We got no time to be arguing pe with people tonight on whether the sons of God were evil kings. No, the Bible says the sons of God were angels and they had intercourse with the daughters of men. We're not going to minimize or humanize the text to fit our westernized view of scripture. Today, we are going to easternize our worldview. Did you catch it? see things from a Middle Eastern. Did you catch it? Archal Mesopotamian. Did you catch Shemite it? Did you catch it? Which means we're going to the Middle East and we're going to view things from their perspective. And we're going to train you. And we're going to push you through this. Now, the reason why I have to say this is because we don't want to be able to have the default and stop and explain points along the way because the babes are in the room. We're encouraging all babes in Christ. Get ready for your growth tonight. Now, watch this. Now, watch this. Look at this. The third thing that I want to say is this is we're not going to slow down for you. You must catch up. Come on. God is going to strengthen your legs and speed up the acceleration on your feet so that you could run alongside with us. So that way we don't have to slow down and to keep looking back as to who's back there. No, today God is saying there will be no slowing down. You must catch up. And we are saying that the spirit of God is going to anoint you so that you can catch up tonight. And that's what we're going to do. And that's the foundation that we want to lay before we go any further is non-salvation topic. Second, it's time to mature. And number three is we're not going to slow down. God is going to help you catch up. So good. So I want to jump into, as we said, our base text, and then later we'll go into some deeper stuff, is Genesis chapter 6, which says, Then human beings begin to increase in number on the earth. Begani, how are you doing tonight? God bless a non-salvation topic. Now, to let me know that you understand what, what I am saying is this. Write it in the chat room. Non-salvation topic. This lets me know that you understand that we could explore... Uh, this particular topic without it being held to the confines of you're in error or you're in heresy or you're completely off or this is sensational or you know some sort of extreme esoteric knowledge no this is a non-salvation topic but i would tell you this yes it does come from the book of enoch amen brother the book of amen brother he never read the book of enoch did he he never read the book of enoch well, the term fallen angels does not occur in the Bible. The watchers do not occur in the Bible. The giants, I'm not sure if the giants are listed in the Bibles or not. These are all terms that come from the books of Enoch. This guy is an outright liar. Isaiah also knows he's a liar because Isaiah did the show with him. Isaiah also read the book of Enoch. They knew I was telling the truth out here. They knew I was telling the truth. Let's see what this pathological liar has to say. In the Bible, because Jude, which was the biological brother of Jesus, his name was Judas, and to not get confused with Judas Iscariot, he was surnamed Jude, J-U-D-E, which is the second to the last book of the Bible. He actually quote from the book of Enoch. So the early church and the early patriarchs, including Moses, yep. the book of Enoch was common knowledge. Now, let me just throw this out there as well. In 1948, when a young shepherd boy discovered the Dead Sea Scrolls, uh, not only did we find uh, uh, portions and parchments of the 66 books of the Bible, the book of Enoch. What a wicked web we weave when first uh, we practice to deceive. So this is common knowledge and widely accepted that the early church, 
uh, did embrace as a worldview the Enochian. It's called the Enochian because it's coming um, from Enoch. Now, where did Jude get this prophecy that Enoch said? We find it says, and Enoch prophesied and said, the Lord is coming with thousands and ten thousands of his saints. Well, he got it from the book of Enoch. And if it's quoted in the book of Jude, chapter uh, chapter 1, verse uh, 7, I'm gonna, you know, I'm not even gonna waste any more time on this because uh, this this guy is a proven liar now. It's safe to say that we can go to the book of Enoch to provide commentary on the 66 books of the Bible. It doesn't substitute the 66 books of the Bible, but it provides commentary and it amplifies our biblical, canonical worldview. So non-salvation topic. The second thing that I want to say is this. Uh, is this uh, for those of you that are listening um, the book of Hebrews chapter 5 let me read something to you it says uh, the author is writing uh, to those that are reading the book of Hebrews now watch this I want to I'm laying a foundation before we jump in uh, look what it says it says I'm gonna let you guys read uh, listen to it yourself um, he is a proven liar they are they have all been proven liars which is why I have posted all of their videos. He will not sit there and call me a liar and a false prophet. The Lord will not ever be mocked. Um, I I'm disgusted by these people. I'm truly disgusted by these people. They are truly walking in the darkness. They're, they're not men of God. None of them. None of them. And, um, Satan is their father, and they've proven it over and over and over and over again. They've absolutely proven it over and over again. So uh, you all have to do your due diligence. This is why I keep stressing discernment. These people, this is what they do. They fast talk you. Send me your money. Oh, if you like this teaching, sow your seed. He's a, pro a, a prosperity gospel preacher, too. This is what they are. They're all of the world. He actually says in the video he made today that uh, he likes when people make rebuttal videos against him because it's good It's good marketing for him. It sends more people to him. This is not about God. This is about him. And it's about building up a business for him. It's not about God. And now he's proven it to everybody beyond the shadow of a doubt. Don't mess with me again, Pagani. You're a joke. You're a joke. You would know a real prophet if you saw one, obviously. Boom! Did you hear it? Did you hear it? Watch this. Mic drop. 